Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we are here with the non-Alolan Mark. As you can see by this little team name I have here. And you know what? I kind of like this team, not gonna lie. I kind of like the look of this team. We have the three elements that are our offense. And these weird free typings defensively paired together. And it's I'm just interested to see how this is gonna go. So we're gonna just jump straight into the battle. Our core is looking really frail on the sides that they are not meant for. And by that I mean our special defensive wall is really weak on the physical side, and our physical wall is really weak on the special side. But muck is there to even everything out, hopefully. Honestly, poison is a trashy type, but We'll see how it goes. Poison is just a... It doesn't have any massive perk, whereas most other types do. So, seeing that team, I'm seeing a lot of speed, actually. Which is weird. So, what would he lead with? Electrode is a likely lead. Armaldo is a kind of likely lead. Honestly, I kind of want to lead with Whiskash, then. Would he lead with Leafeon? Does Leafeon get rocks? Leafeon doesn't get rocks, right? Leading with... We're leading with Whiskash. We're real. Leads with the Armaldo. That's kind of good for us. I'm going to Waterfall, because he's probably going to Stealth Rock, and just in case he goes into the Leafeon, I want to just get damage. I'm not going to set up first turn. That is not worth it. But we did make the right play on what he was going to lead with, to an extent. I was expecting more Electrode than Armaldo, but you know what? As long as we nailed one of them, that's fine. Is he going to go for first turn Rocks? Because we are Adam Nature. We are adamant, meaning we have some high attack. <laughs> 280. <laughs> Not the highest, to be honest. Honestly, our Maldo's attack is probably higher. Leafeon comes out, that's going to take a waterfall, which can do very little, but... And it's got leftovers, that kind of sucks. So Leafeon is more likely than not physical, meaning we can easily go into Avalug without any worries, and I... Yeah, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. And we are free to Toxic. No matter what comes in, it cannot bounce off a Toxic or anything like that. We are completely free to Toxic. Watch this thing be running Hidden Power Fire. <laughs> if this thing is running Sunny Day Hidden Power Fire, I got played. Back into the Armaldo, that is actually kind of fine. Um, I am mostly fine with this. In fact, I kind of want to go into Muck right now, because Muck can Acid Armor on this thing. Especially if he sets up rocks. I'm going to go into Muck. Is he going to set up rocks? Stone Edge? That is not what I expected. I did not think he'd be going for a physical move. Oh, no. No, Muck, please don't do this to me. Is it worth keeping this muck around? Or was that just the worst switch in I've ever made? We're gonna acid armor on hope for this. We have speed! We have speed! How? We are resting. How do we out speed? How do we out speed? How slow is our mall though? What? We are Chesto Berry. We are we are setting up right now. We are setting up right now. We are here. This Armaldo does not know what just hit it. Has no idea. We're acid armoring again. We're real. We're going for all that defense. He's gonna stealth rock. It's too late. This muck is unstoppable right now. Is he staying in and letting himself die? Or is he swapping? Safe play is toxic. In case he swaps. We're toxicing. He's not swapping. Okay. He's banking on a stone edge crit. That. Oh, he lives? No. We are going to... I kind of want to... I'm just going to 500 and kill him. That's, that's the safest play. That is absolutely the safest play. There was no reason for me to even think about that. We outspeed. I just... That was not sinking into my head. So, Electrode comes in. We are fully special defense investment, so I feel like we can take a special hit pretty well. Like, we have a lot of HP. So I'm finally just going for a Toxic. He's gonna Rain Dance. He is Thunder. He is going for a Thunder. I am clicking Rest. That did nothing. Muck. Muck is so tanky. Oh my lord. This thing is monstrous. 
We're gonna, we'll go for the fire punch when we wake up. In fact, we'll go for the rest for when we wake up, let's be honest. So this, this isn't my preferred style of play, it really isn't, but you know what? There's a reason it exists, and that's because it works. Like, defensive muck is really, really good. So we're gonna wake up, we're gonna rest, we're going back to sleep. You know what, this, this sewage is very tired sewage, okay? That's a thing, you can get tired sewage, by the way. He's gonna find that he didn't even set up the rain, he just wants the damage. He believed he would land that hit. And he did, to be honest, but either way, that's a Pokemon down, we're in like the same situation except for asleep. So, Muck is putting in the finest of work. Dugong. Dugong. His last special attack, and there we go, there's the forfeit. Muck won our first match. Muck sweep. Muck sweep. I'm counting it. That is a Muck sweep. There is no way he's breaking through that Muck. That is a win. Okay, next battle. That. That went so much better than I could have, could have ever imagined. <laughs> we see Tangler by Ampharos. Mmm, that's a scary Pokemon. We see an Avalug, a Meowstic, that's a very scary Pokemon for our mark. And we see a Dodrio. What is with the Dodrios today? So his likely lead would be... Possibly... Avalug? Pos anything on this left hand side. Even screams with Meowstic, literally anything could lead. Anything could lead. Meaning, what do we want to lead with is probably the best question. Honestly, Avalug. Honestly, Avalug. I want to lead with Avalug. Oh my god, if this good bite stays in, it's real. I'm avalanching. I am not over predicting. If this good bite stays in, please. Please, it would be so funny. Please, goodbye, stay in. He isn't staying in. He's going into the Ampharos. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Static. Avalanche is physical? Like, contact? Avalanche is contact based? How? How is Avalanche contact based? I've seen the anime. It is not contact based. That is a lie. I am angry. We are paralyzed for nothing. Um, okay, that's a huge problem. We can go into the Whiskash though. He's not gonna have Hidden Power Grass, right? He's gonna Volt Switch. You made your first wrong play. We cannot do anything crazy. We are going to Earthquake expecting Tangle level 100%. So we could have double swapped there. That would have been a little bit better, but it's not the end of the world. We can quite easily swap into Duosion here. Please be special. Of course you're special. You're gonna go for a Sleep Powder. That is hard. That is horrible for us. You are running knockoff though, and that is our evil like on. That's really bad. We're gonna try- Oh, that does so much damage. We get to wake up and recover though, which is nice. Uh, we are gonna go for one calm mind. He's gonna try sleep powder again. You tried. You tried. How dare you. We're gonna go for a signal beam. He misses again. Signal beam? Is that one hit KO? Oh, it's so close. Confuse. No confuse. That kind of sucks. He might be Regenerator, so I'm actually just going to Psychic this turn. He really believed he would land that Sleep Powder. If he missed again, he'd have been so mad, though. Um, either way, Giga Drain isn't going to do too much. He was just using that to get Safe Swap. And we wake up for the first turn. Oh my god, we woke up first turn. That's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting that, I'm not going to lie. We can swap back into the Avalog, though. I don't care about plus one, plus one. Outrage, that's just going to be Rocky Helmet damage. And he is now locked in. Meaning that we can guarantee the kill on this Gabite, which I think is the safest thing to do, rather than try and recover up and do things like that. I'd much rather just get a kill on this Gabite and get it gone. Because honestly, that's possibly scuffed Gabite with like outrage. That's that's damage. That is a lot of damage that I do not want to take. Although we could have always Destiny Bonded it later, but Overthinking things. We're gonna recover because there is no way he has anything crazy like Psychic. He's running Psy Shock. He's real. He's running Psy Shock and he's gonna expect us to swap. This is the thing I need to get rid of for Muck to win. He's running Psychic. He's real. He's really he's scary. He's a very scary person right now. Okay. I can't really swap back into Duosion now that doesn't have the. Yeah, we're going into Cacturn 100%. Because I can't go back into Blobbo. 
great name. We can't go back into Blobbo without the Eviolite. If we had the Eviolite, maybe we could, but we don't have that. We're gonna see Bomb and see how much it does. That's, that's an Avalok. That is doing two damage. Two whole damage. Do we Destiny Bond this thing? Is this the thing we Destiny Bond? Or is this something we can uh, safely swap on? We can safely swap on this. I believe. I think we can go into the mark pretty easily. Immune to the toxic. That's a good start. That's a very good start. You know what? Acid armor. Right now. 100%. We are acid armoring right now. That's defense. That's good. That's not going to do anything to us. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the win. Toxic. Let's get this started. Let's get it started. I like it. Meow stick? You don't get magic card, do you? No. Okay. Um, either way, that is, that's a scary Pokemon to come in, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> not gonna lie, it's a very scary Pokemon to come in. I kinda wanna go back into Cacta, but that's a really obvious play. We're up to times two defense. Does he think we're swapping? He doesn't think we're swapping, he's going for Psychic. We're going into Cacta, we're real. He's going to be for the Psychic. He did go for the Psychic. Now, what do we do here? Do we, A, go for a Seed Bomb? expecting, like, Abelug to come back in or anything like that. Or do we be Sucker Punch and expect him to attack? I'm gonna Sucker Punch. Oh, he's Thunder Waving. No, that's a horrible thing for you to do. We're gonna Sucker Punch again, though, just in case he does attack. I'm scared of Signal Beam, not gonna lie. I am very scared of Signal Beam. Do we Destiny Bond? Is it time? Or do we just go for a Double Sucker Punch? Double Sucker Punch will kill, I think. And it's much safer than going to Destiny Bond. We're going for Double Sucker Punch. Double Sucker Punch will easily kill. He's gonna die to Brave Bird Recoil. He dies to Brave Bird Recoil. So much better than Destiny Bonding, because we get another chance to Sucker Punch. So much better. Better in every way. I could see Tangler or Avalug coming out here. Either of them. And you know what? Either of them have to take a Sucker Punch. Tangler, I don't know if it can live. It does get the Regenerator, so it will be back at like 36% HP, 37% HP. So close. We're gonna Sucker Punch. He's gonna Giga Drain, but honestly, damage is damage. I'll take it. Did a fair amount, not gonna lie, and he's now gonna be in with this Tangler, and we can easily bring in our Ninetales here. And I see no, nothing bad about setting up a Nasty Plot. We outspeed the rest of his team. We Nasty Plot. We have Flamethrower that hits two for super effective. Dark Pulse hits the Meow Stick. Flamethrower will hit the Amphros. We're Nasty Plotting, we're real. Vixen, can you pick up the win here? Sleep Powder, you are a disgusting person. <laughs> I did not consider that. He swaps, that's kind of good for us. We have a Citrus Berry, we wake up. Flamethrower, doesn't quite kill. Thunderbolt, we're Citrus. We're getting a little bit of health back. Not a lot, but a little bit. We're gonna go for another flamethrower. This should be a sweep. He does have a prankster meow stick. So we are likely to get Thunder Waved at some point. Meaning if we were Lumberry on this thing, we would actually be fine. But I was afraid of Will-O-Wisp more so than... Normally when I look at like using a Lumberry, Lumberry is mainly for Will-O-Wisp to me, but... Eh, we're gonna Dark Pulse. He outspeeds. He tried to kill. We have Dark Pulse. He, he believed. He believed too heavily. We're flamethrowing. We flamethrow for the rest of his team. Tangler doesn't outspeed us. That's a win. That is a vixen sweep. This is going well. I like this team, not gonna lie. He has sturdy, admittedly, but flamethrower will still take him down with that sturdy. And you know what? At that point, I can bring Muck in <laughs> and fire punch with Muck to get the win, which is my favorite thing ever. So we're gonna bring Muck in here. Muck, please finish this thing with a fire punch. Please, you have some base attack. Please do more than 7%. <laughs> I know we're running this defensively. I don't I don't think there's a way we can lose. I don't think Fire Punch does that little. <laughs> we have a Duosion and a Whiskash in the back. Like, Duosion is special. Duosion can Psychic at any point. There's no way we're losing this. There we go, Fire Punch takes him out. And Muck wins the battle, right? Muck. Muck did it all. Honest. That Nine Tails did nothing. Muck is real. And we're gonna go for uh, another battle, because you know what, That's, this is going well. This is going well. This is likely to be the last battle, because both battles so far have been good, and no one's forfeit yet, which is weird, because we're on Pokemon Showdown. Normally there is a forfeit immediately. So we see an Electabuzz. That's kind of scary. Oofalon. 
again, kind of scary. All of his team is scary. We see a Bastolin, a Gogo, a Golem, oh, that rock polish weakness policy though, and a Kadabra. So, likely leads are either Electabuzz or Golem, meaning Whiskash Go. There we go. Okay, we have been predicting on point. Uh, we are not going to over predict first turn. I think we should just go for the Earthquake. We're just going to go for the Earthquake. Gogo comes in. Okay. Maybe I should start over predicting first turn. I should really start doing that. Gogo is in. What is Gogo doing? Gogo gets access to Earthquake. That is something I desperately have to remember. So we're going into Avalog. We cannot come in with Vixen on this thing. Unless it is on a sacrifice. So like we lose a Pokemon, we bring in Vixen, and we are then find my Pokemon. He double swaps back into the Ectobus. Um yeah, that's a kind of, that's a good play. We're gonna go back into Whiskash though, because we are gonna we will happily double swap. So I'm gonna rock slide this time. Expecting the go-go to come back out. Should do a little bit more damage. Not really. Uh, we're gonna do the same play twice, which normally I don't do, but I'm I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling like he is gonna go for a Horn Leech. I'm feeling the Horn Leech. Double swap into Kadabra. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I don't. I don't really understand why he would go into the Kadabra. Uh, do we go into Duosion? Is Duotion safe? We're still Eviolite at the moment, so even if he has Shadow Ball, we take it moderately well. We'll, we'll swap into the Duotion. He's gonna Psychic. We eat that. We eat that for breakfast. We can... I kinda wanna Calm Mind. I kinda wanna Signal Beam. I kinda wanna Psychic. I kinda wanna go for every move at once. We're gonna Signal Beam. He's running Energy Ball. Okay. That's not gonna do too much. Signal Beam takes him way low. We can recover. Because that energy ball only did 40%, so it's a crit, meaning we can heal back up. We heal back up against Golem. Oh, Golem, you're a scary Pokemon. You are an absolutely terrifying Pokemon to see. But we can go back into the Whiskash on this. He sets up the Rock Polish. We go for one Rock Slide. Because I need to break his Sturdy. We have to sacrifice something. We have a Focus Sash Cacti. He has a Rock Ball Shell. That's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, that is a bit of an issue. Honestly, Duosion hits nothing. Duosion is useless this match. Really, really useless. It hits the Electabuzz, I mean, if it sets up. But. Let's be honest, Boofalance destroys it with a head charge. Adaptability, Choice Band, Basculin, Waterfall will kill. Gogo can set up with Bulk Ups and destroy it. This Golem will destroy it. We're getting rid of Blobo right now. Blobo is gone. Blobo tanks that. Oh my god. Blobo. What on earth? You're gonna go for recover, just in case. Yeah, you're, you're going down. Um, we can come in with the Cacturn, I guess. Now, it's a very obvious play what we're doing. But we will see Bomb. It was very obvious, as I said. He is Saps. Sapsip is a thing. Sapsip is a thing. Sapsip is a thing. We're gonna go for a Drain Punch and hope this does something. Either way, I don't think he can do anything to us. Oh, he can bulk up though. Oh, he can bulk up. That's really bad. We're coming in with Mark right now. We. He has. He has a. We are Acid Armor. Oh no, I thought, why did I think we outsped? It's a go-go, of course we don't outspeed. Why would we outspeed a go-go? We're flamethrowing, we cannot take chances. He is making the right plays, he is making all the right plays. I can't even be mad, I'm just angry, I'm very angry. That's a bastard in the back, which that's scary. We have a War Absorb Cactus, that's the right thing to go into no matter what. Final Gambit, you know what, he gets taken out for that. And we survive because we have a focus sash. But honestly, sure. I will take it. Golem comes in. Now Golem. What is your base speed? If he's running rock polish, probably pretty high. We're gonna see bomb. Suck punch. If I went for destiny bond, if I had have gone for the destiny bond, then we would be fine. 
we would actually be fine. Uh, we can come in with Nine Tails and Energy Ball. He's made all the plays so far, which means realistic. There's no way he's swapping into a Go Go. Not a chance. We're Energy Ball. Yeah. I was like, he'd swap into the Go-Go to resist the Energy Ball, but that does nothing for him. Why would he ever do that? <laughs> of course he's not going to do that. Boofalon, scary Pokemon is here. Right, Avalug, your time is here. Please destroy this thing, please. Head charge. That does so much damage. We have to recover. Absolutely have to recover. Electabuzz can come in all at once. We have to recover, and we have to go into Whiskash. I hate this play so much, but we have to do it. Signal Beam. That's damage. Are we dead? We're dead. Yep. Yep. That's scary. So, Ninetales, do you, you don't even outspeed this thing, which means we have to Flamethrower. Gogo is not taking Flamethrower. Oh, yes it is! Why is that taking that so well? We're Flamethrowing again and hoping for a high roll. There's the high roll! Thank you, Hyrule Heavens. Thank you, Hyrule Heavens. That... Oh, okay, Hyrule Heavens are on our side. We have to swap again. As obvious as it is, have to swap. That, as I said, Hyrule Heavens. That's Hyrule Heavens. Low roll? That ain't a low roll. That is not a low roll. That's a scary time. That's a scary time, Bufalon. Your base speed is lower, unless you are Scarf. If you were Scarf, you would not be doing that much damage. We're going for a Flamethrower. We're taking out the Bufalon. 1v1, Electabuzz versus Ninetales. Who will win? Find out next time. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, he outspeeds, meaning Nasty Plot is probably not the right play, so we're just going to Flamethrower. He doesn't outspeed. He doesn't outspeed. Citrus is useless. Citrus is useless right there. Flamethrower, please. GG. That, that really came down to the wire. That really came down to the wire. That, I love those matches so much. That was a nice match, and you know what? That is a nice point to end with three wins with this team, which is nice. So if you guys have enjoyed this Muck team, because I know I sure did, leave a like down below for its Alolan form. Come on, do it. Leave a like. Leave a like for the Alolan form. It's pretty. <laughs> but without further ado, bye!